Jacob did a seven round mock draft. So um, round two, you've got uh, Cansey, defensive tackle uh, from Pittsburgh. What do you like about him? What does he bring? He's a ferocious pass rusher. rusher. He's just absolutely relentless. Again, one of these guys that just ball is snapped and you would have thought he knew the snap count. He's that explosive off the line of scrimmage and he's just, he knows how he's a gap penetrator. He understands how to read the body language and what the offensive linemen are going to do. And he often shoots the gap the opposite way in which they're moving and that sort of thing. And he gets back there in an absolute hurry. He's undersized at 280 pounds, but he doesn't play 280 pounds. He's got a lot of strength and leverage that he utilizes to go with that athleticism. Um, he's a guy I've seen some people mock. I saw Mel Kuyper mock him at number 10. So, I mean, this is a guy that that at least other talent evaluators are looking at it and say, yeah, he's undersized, but the talent kind of outweighs the traditional measurables in the production is there from Pitt that, you know, this is a guy that you put him in there in this modern passing league and he's instantly a starter in terms of pass rush situations. And, and I think he's better against the run than some people give him credit for. All right, round three, um, pick 98. You have the Browns going with a safety, J.L. Skinner uh, from Boise State. Uh, what does he bring to the table that uh, you think Browns could go after him in third round? Size and physicality. I mean, he plays the deep free safety position, um, and but he looks – like a linebacker i you know he was standing next to some linebackers in mobile and it reminds me of when i got to see martin emerson in person during brown's camp last year and i was blown away by how big martin emerson was like i knew he was big and long and that sort of thing but you didn't compare him to linebackers skinner's the same way is a big physical safety who has better speed and in, in athleticism than you would think from a guy of that size he's gonna hit He's going to come downhill in a hurry, and he's going to hit you in the mouth. He likes to be physical, but he also doesn't draw a lot of unnecessary penalties for being physical because sometimes you can see that with defensive backs where you're like, oh, this guy, you know, he plays well, and he's going to hit you, but he's going to draw a bunch of flags. I don't think he really does that all that much, but he is a really good coverage safety. He needs some work. He's not a finished product by any stretch of the imagination, but he's got all the tools there uh, to be a really good starter in the back end of the defense. In the fourth round, uh, you have the Browns taking an edge rusher. We've already talked about him, um, Adebare uh, from Northwestern. And um, So uh, defense, you get tackle, a safety, and an uh, edge rusher in the uh, second, third, and fourth rounds for the Browns.